Is it Captain Marvel? Hey, what's this? Hey. Well, this is weird. The same, the same day, different hour, the fourth widow of this day. Yeah, this is my, my friend say we are productive. Hey, this Sunday is so special and we are so enthusiastic today that we must film as much as possible because it's good to have a few videos on stock so I can post more frequently. But first, and now we salute this time a little different. Mm -hmm. Do you see this? RAF. The Royal Air Force salute because and even today I have the head from the Royal Air Force because we have something really special. Ne now Gloucester, salute. meet your Gloucester Gladiator. Yeah, this is Gloucester Gladiator, but you, you have the Gloucester Meteor also. This is the, the name Gloucester that goes from planes to planes, but Today I will salute Jura Fly for this because finally we have a new release from the Jura Fly and we just love Jura Fly plays and today we have something so iconic that it is amazing and I'm really proud and happy that we can present you with this plane the new release like I have said for Jura Fly. Now we all know that, I don't know, if you didn't try a boy plane before, uh, now it's your time. You have the link below, pause the video, click quick. Don't waste your time because you don't have so much biplanes on the market as other planes. But once you will try it, you will see the biplanes are so sexy. Hey, to tell you the truth, I have, I don't know, maybe five or six biplanes and they all fly perfectly. Yeah, I don't know, hey, by now every single biplane that I had in my life was a good flyer because in fact, I don't know, on the biplane you can imagine that you have almost double the flying surface of the plane. So for me, I don't know, my experience is that they really fly good. And today we have something iconic, not just some imaginary biplane or I don't know, some sport biplane, but today we really have a beautiful and sexy waterboard. The Gloucester, uh, the Gloucester... Gladiator. Uh, gladi gladiator, I mean we say Gladiator in Slovenian, Gladiator, that in fact I think that this was this was the last biplane that saw the combat during the Second World War. Yeah. The last one. Of course, we have shown you before the Tiger Moth on which uh, pilots were training before they seated, before they were flying the, the low wing fast speed flyers and I don't know what. But like I have said, to be able to fly the the Warburg, the biplane Warburg from the Second World War, I mean, this is amazing and I'm really happy that Eurofly decided to do this plane. Now, you have seen the wingspan. Of course, the wingspan of this plane is like your usual. Most of the planes from the Eurofly, they come exactly in the 1100 millimeter wingspan, which of course is perfect for every single car. Now, I don't think that you have such a small car that you go and stuck inside the plane 1100 millimeter in one piece. Mm? Well, unless you have an RC car, then... Yeah, of course. If you are going to the runway with the RC car, then you will have to put the trailer on and you can put, still you can put this plane in one piece. Now, while I'm talking, I will start to cut because oh, yeah? I can't wait, my friends, that we show you this and I can't wait to see this. Now the beautiful stuff is, ah, I will tell you, that this baby is on full sale, it will fly a little faster, you will be also able to fly a little slower, a more scale, but the point is that they have put the full cell power on this plane, because the biplanes usually have very short nose, and since you don't have big radial engines in front, you need some weight in front, and the easiest way to get the weight in front is to put a little more cell battery inside them. So this baby will run on full cell. Yes. Now, I will show the specifications. I, have shown I won't them. tell you nothing anymore. It's time that we see this and I'm really happy. Hey, already looks amazing, Dave. Already looks amazing. And this will be again a hey, look Ooh. at this. Hey. Uh, look at this sexiness to be impressed, hey. First show Captain Blush how it is packed. Hey, look Let's at the check wheel. quick. Red wheel say. Hey. I mean look at this, say. Hey. This is good packed plane that you won't hurt it. Now we will see how much if there is any gluing involved in this plane. If it is not, save the box so you can later store the plane here during the winter. Mm -hmm. I don't think that you, Yeah, look at this. Say. Now you have it in this scheme, the Royal Air Force, which of course I think that I will put on because it came with this, but they have put this in all silver paint you will see. And this plane is, if you love to put yourself some other decal from some other 
military from some other army. You silver? Yeah, silver, yeah. Hey, I'm color blind. Hey, I thought the plane was blue. Hey, what with it's me? Not blue. This is blue. This. Hey. But this is silver. What's with you? Hey. <laughs> I got the I thought it's blue. Hey, what's with yeah. me? Hey. I'm blue, dab and dee, dab and dab. I think it's blue. Dab and dee, dab and I will put this scheme on because it came with the plate and it will look sexy. But like I said, this is an empty canvas, so you can make yourself this in a scheme, whatever you like, eh? Whatever you like. You can even make this some Reno racer, eh? You can make a Reno racer from this one, why not? But we will show it as it comes here in this box, eh? Like we have said, beautifully packed, all secured, pretty good, eh? Mm -hmm. I will just remove this, cut this, and we will start some work, Captain oh. Blush. Aha, uh -huh, another decal. Oh. Of course. Oh, yeah. I will put them all on. This now, is the point this. is that I think that this wingspan is perfect because it also has, you will see, the wires for supporting the wings. And by that you don't want to disassemble every single time that you go to the runway and that is why this is in the wingspan that will fit in every car. Okay, let's start quick. Quick uh -huh. start up. This is the quick setup guide, more than enough. All that you need, you have here, you have the CG, you have the throws, you have everything. All the rest that you would love to know, check on the internet, you will see under the file tab you have the instruction manual. Yes, Did say wood? of course. Hey, oh, I still have oh, it. Hey. It comes with this oh, exact I knife. Hey. Yeah. Oh, I still have this filming say. Because my friends say, why do we film unboxings? Well, the unboxings, my friends, are the same thrill, the same thrill as flying for me. Because this is the first time that you see your plane and you make a bond with it. Now let's go to the first, uh, to the first uh, bags. Of course. I will take it out because I will assemble this plane. 11 by 7. Yeah, of course it is. Eh? Yeah, 11 by 7 Electro. Do you see this? Eh? Okay. Electro version, I will put this here. Let, I will remove this. Of course, the first thing that I see here, oh, give me the knife, you have here the supports for you the You will wings. assemble it today? What? Assemble it today? Oh, I don't know. I will take it up to my office and I will assemble it. I don't know. During the weekend. During the week, in the evenings or something like that. Now, of course, you have here the supports. You can also assemble the plane without those wires and everything. It will still hold the plane together. Oh, this is for the wings, yes? Yeah, it is optional. But, of course, if you want the stillness, you will put the, the, the wires and everything. We will still have to find them, eh? Of course, look at this. Wires? You have them, eh? Didn't you buy those springs yeah, and wires? You, yeah, but you get them with the plane. Yeah, you said you have to find them. Yeah, inside. Uh, yeah, box. okay. Oh, cap the blast, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Of course, here you have the wheels. I can see here that this will be the bolt construction. So I don't think that there will be much going involved. Since we have taken out the landing gear, we can take out the wheels. You know what? Big, uh, sexy, rubbery wheels. Back in the day, they had a lot more sexy wheels than they do yeah. today. But back in the days, they had the big wheels, so they were able to to drive over the runway a little more better than we today. Because but look at the size. Well, in, in in the whole say. Ah. What's this? What do you have this? Oh, you can unscrew it. Eh? Ah. You get the screws, you see? Oh, this is why, I mean, this is unbelievable. Hey, I was wondering for what these bolts are. Look at this, it, they're for this. Eh? Now, of course, huh? I will turn one like this. Yeah, do you know why? So you can secure ah, the so wheel. So you secure the wheel in And so then later on, the later on you put, and you know what it did? Give it to me. Yeah, you put this through. Remove this. You remove the rubber. Remove the uh, remove no. the wheel. Yeah, but you don't have to remove the wheel. How will you secure the bolt? You remove this and remove put the wheel. It through, secure it, put this on, and then Lay. from the back. But this. Let me show you something. Give it to me. But what will you? What will you show Lay. us now? You do it like this. Yeah, yeah. You put it on, so you'll be yeah. able. Oh, a I lot, don't think a so. A lot more easier to secure oh, the bolt oh, than oh, through the wheel. Oh, oh, Captain Blush. You put this like this. Yeah, this, oh, this. What you? you put this on, yeah. then you secure the bolt, then you put the wheel on because yeah, otherwise. But why did you take this apart? Why, Adi? What's the point? Yeah, you must see. Tell me now. I want to discuss this with you. Why did you have to take out this? <laughs> why? Because you. 
Yep. You, if you will leave the, this on this, like this, nah? like this, how will you secure the bolt through the tire or what? Uh -huh. Yeah, the bolt, but, but, but you don't, you put, you leave this together like this. No. I... You remove this one. <laughs> and then you, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I mean, this is a discussion. Why to remove this? Tell me, you don't have to. You put like this, then you secure it, and then you put this one back and secure it. I want but to of course, I mean... I want to disassemble it. No, of course, you can disassemble it totally and then put it back together and then put, put it on. Yeah, piece by piece, eh? <laughs> this is unbelievable. Okay, Captain Blanche. You can do it the Captain Blanche's way or my way. Who can't say, as long as you assemble the plane. Oh. This is something. Hey, oh, oh. If this has a weight inside. This feels heavy. Yeah, of course it does. Eh? Already you have the problem to, to, to get a good CG on the plane with the short nose. That is why, look, let me show you. I mean, look at the size of this spinner, eh? This is big boy, hey. Like this, look. And of course, this was something that Captain Blanche was wondering. And this really is also a weight. Do you see this, huh? Oh, this is what? Pretty heavy, eh? <laughs> I don't know. Not bad. 40 grams? 30 oh, grams? Yeah, pretty much, eh? One ounce? Yeah, oh, I don't know. <laughs> you can one ask. ounce is 29.8 grams, I think. But eh? this goes together, and this is one more thing to make a. Uh, a perfect CG on this plane, of course, which is crucial to fly any kind of plane. If you don't have the CG, you don't have nothing. You are left with the shower, with the gel in the shower. Yes. And that's it, eh? that's the truth here. Oh. oh, the elevator. Oh, the elevator. Uh -huh. Of course, loosen this a little. Let's check how this is made. Uh huh. Just uh huh. Oh, yeah, of course. The That's best the way. Solution. This is the best solution. They have all the planes that you assemble. And don't think that this carbon bar just goes inside in the styrofoam in the foam. No, 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 no. Don't be confused. It has inside the, the other way, the tube that you put inside. The, the male here. part. Yeah, the male part that you stuck in your, your carbon bar. Eh? Yeah, don't which... screw nothing now, eh? <laughs> yeah. It will go. I'm just ah, like this. And that's it. This is really good solution. And of course, you can see here that this will be the boat construction. You can see here the reinforcement also here. And we can also see here the ball linkages. Now, the ball linkages. Hmm. I have just forgot today. The next time, the Captain Marsh will remind me that I will bring to the runway the bolt pliers uh -huh. to disassemble the, the, the ball linkages apart. Because if you don't have those pliers, usually you break something. And I will show you how simple and sexy it is. And I have bought them on Hobby King, those pliers. Say. Uh -huh. One for me and one for Captain Blush. And they work perfect. Since then, I don't have broken, uh, broken... Uh, uh, Cleavices. Bolts anymore. Cleavices. Yeah, of course, say, eh? oh, Captain Blush, eh? uh -huh. The upper wing, I mean, look at this sexiness, eh? but it's really light, eh? Yeah. Really light, beautiful paint job, I mean, beautiful silver, eh? The plain silver are just so sexy. Now, of course, you can see here already, you can see the reinforcement. Of course, we can also see that this will be, this plane will be agile and it will turn good because it doesn't have just the lower ailerons, but also upper uh -huh. ailerons. So this means that this will turn good. You can already see here. Yeah. Oh! Hooks. Do you see this? Yes. Click, click. Solution. Click. Uh -huh. This is something to salute. Click solution. No screwing. Oh, no. Oh, this will be something. Oh, I just love these solutions. Of course, also loosen this in just a little so the later the servos won't suffer so much because you don't want the servos to suffer. Eh? No. Even though uh, they're strong okay. enough. Uh -huh. Let's check this out. Of course, the servos already pre-installed, the ball linkages, the uh, reinforcement all around, the bolt construction, beautiful paint job, and that's it. Eh? I'm really impressed at this point. Again, you can see here the click solution, and of course, you can see here where the struts, or how do you call those, the, the wirings, the wirings will go for even yes. bigger these are, these are struts. Yeah, these are struts, yeah, the wiring. The, the wiring, wires. yes. The wires for more scale look. 
Uh, this is so sexy. I mean, now we can see the wingspan of this. I mean, look at this. Uh, uh, this is perfect to every single car. Oh, I just love it. And of course, now we come. Is there anything what? else? Uh huh. Uh huh. There is, of course. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, look at this. Uh. What? Uh, I will open it. A few stuff. Also, the machine guns. Uh. Yeah. Uh, you get the machine guns, Captain Blotch. Uh. I will take it out. Ah, uh, of course. You have here the machine guns, all kind of scale details. Do you see this? And the exhausts. Do you see the exhausts? No. Yeah. Now this plane, my friends, assembled, it will be one sexy plane. And of course, when you see this, you know that you don't have to worry if you will be able to take off from grass because these big wheels eh, will turn on the grass. Eh. Of course, the beautiful and sexy steel wires, do you see? Yeah. The real steel wires. Of course, the, the, the adapter. For the propeller. For the propeller, if you need it, you have here the the ball linkages and of course this beautiful screwdriver that fits anywhere. Of course here I can see the Y cable for the arrows here and of course you have here these small tubes. Do you see steel? Yeah, this is for, uh, yeah, this for is, wires. This is for the wires. You put the wire through uh, and secure it with the clevises or how they call them. Yeah, with the needle nose pliers. With needle nose pliers and that's it. Eh? And that's it, we come to the best part of our unboxing. And that is the beautiful and sexy fuselage. Mm -hmm. Wait. No, no. Aha! First the back, yeah, 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 yeah. Because of the motor. Like this. I don't want to ruin nothing yet. Now let's see this baby. Wait, 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 Captain Gosh. Also put this because I don't want to see this here. But don't throw it away because I use it all. For later, hey, for the AC remote, eh? Hey. Oh yeah, of course. Oh, oh, I will use this today. Ah, yeah. I'll leave it here for the air conditioning. And of course, we come to the best part, of course, of airing boxing, and that is the beautiful and sexy fuselage. Now look at this sexiness. The back wheel already pre-installed. Do you see this? Say, eh? mm -hmm. I can already see here something that here will also be some wiring. Do you see this? Say, eh? you have here these small things. Ah, look at this. Mm -hmm. Say. Eh? Also here the wiring for the back. Mm -hmm. Of course the back is all uh, bolt uh, uh, together construction. You can also see here four bolts for the wings. You can see here the place to put the landing gear, the landing gear in. And of course we can check the motor inside here. I mean look at this beautiful sexy radial engines. You can also paint these cylinders to the silver. It will look even more scale. I just wonder, aha. Uh -huh. What? It is, I was wondering if this is on some magnets. But I can see already that this is, uh -huh, it is bolted. The cowling for the motor has the bolts here, do you see? Yes. Yeah, the bolts. And of course, let's check what's inside. How do you open this? Usually it goes in the back. Yes. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. I will just put here a little tape, the reinforced tape, and you have here inside the servos. And I will tell you this, of course, we can salute. Ah, uh, this is something that I will tell you what this is for. We have, of course, the XT60 inside. Show the viewers. It is here. Uh huh. And just feel me? Because we always salute XT60 because XT60 is just great. Yeah. Now it will run, I think that it runs on those simple, sexy 2200. 2200 four cell batteries that fits perfect. Now, oh, I was talking to Stuart. Now they were thinking how the hell to put, they had some idea for the battery tray inside, but it was so interesting, so, so, I don't know, it was so inconvenient that in fact they have realized if you just put inside the battery and they have put this simple block of foam that you just stuck later inside like this, and the, it will hold the battery, well, it will go nowhere. Usually they, I, I have done this like yeah, this. We have secured the battery many times with the, with the foam. Yeah. And, and it works perfect and they have tested it. Well, I still, I, yeah. I, I still do it. <laughs> yeah, we'll still do it. And look, it is secured here in the back. It can't fall out and it will hold the battery pretty good. They have tested, they were flying inverted like this many, many times. And this proved to be the best solution and the most simplest. You just put the battery in, slide it in, put the block of foam in the back and you're ready to go. I mean, this is unbelievable. The simplest solutions are the best. Now, the one thing that I do miss here is one thing, you know what it is, say. Lights? 
I miss one part inside here, but of course I can see already that it is prepared, do you see? Mm -hmm. Because usually you have the pilots that are secured inside with the, with the bolts. I will just cut this out. I will find some pilot and stuck it in the cockpit and it will look much more sexier. But still, still, ha, it is good enough as long as we have another biplane on the market which doesn't happen every single day. Now so I will just put it a little together just for the closure of the video like this. So we will have a little idea of how the plane will look when it will be assembled. Hey, it, will be like it this. looks sexy like this, eh? Look. With just one wing. Yeah, hey. I mean, look at this, eh? Hey. <laughs> yeah, it really looks sexy. Huh? Tell me this, eh? Mm -hmm. hey, I wonder if yeah. everybody was flying it like this. Because in fact, you do have working elevators right now. The, the, the ailerons. ailerons. You have the servos here. So maybe in the future, eh? Someone will try to fly the plane like this, which I believe it is possible, but you have just half of the wing area. Because if you put this wing on, I know right now that this will now fly a hundred times better. Eh? No, it looks like a beachcraft, eh? Look! Uh huh. Uh, already it looks amazing, eh? And, uh, and again, we have learned something because I didn't know that in fact this was the last plane, the biplane used in the Second World War in the combat. I mean, this is amazing. Okay. With this hobby, eh, we learn so much. It's not just fun all the time, but that we learn the history of the RC, of the airplanes. Because this, for me, this is such an engineering. Because eh, since the dawn of time, men were thinking, humans were thinking how they would fly like a bird and finally it was possible when the planes were invented and this is such an amazing thing in this modern age you have such crazy beautiful sexy planes but I just love for me I don't know I just love piston driven planes they are just yes. the best for me and the, the most beautiful are of course from the second world war I just love world birds and that's it I, I don't know of a single word bird that is not sexy. I don't know, Captain but For a single word that is not sexy. I can be like this. Okay, I can. Oh, no. For closure, they don't. Yeah, of course. But at the end, I don't know. Eh? Oh, I'm pretty impressed. Eh? I'm really happy that finally we have some biplane word bird again on the market. There should be more. But then again, there weren't a lot of planes like this. But they still were. But I don't know. I don't know why they don't make them in the phone version more. Eh? Yeah, who knows? You have such a beautiful biplanes also, uh, but of course, let's wait there, eh? let's wait. From time to time something like this pops out and eh, we are all one happy family again. Eh? So this is it, eh? Pilot Robert the Captain Gloss signing off for Sweden with beautiful, sexy, brand new release of the Jura Flight, the Gloss and Gladiator, double wing fun. You can see here, look, the, 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 the wires. I mean, look how more sexy it looks with the wires. Eh? Of course. You're going to find a sexy band with this. We lost the Gladiator 1100mm wingspan that runs on four cells that can fit in every car and it can be your first biplane to have the ultimate fun and that point. Eh? Don't discuss the prices anymore. This is not the channel to discuss the prices of anything. We're just showing you the options. Some you will be able to buy this, some you won't be able to buy. It's the same thing as maybe on the Mustangs, Ferraris, Porsches, and I don't know what, eh? or even cheaper cars. Some people can afford it, some can't. Eh? I would wish that everybody in the world can afford them, but it doesn't work. The, the world doesn't work like that. But still, if you have your dreams, if you save your money, I know that anybody can afford a plane like this in the future if you would really love to have it and if you would love to have a beautiful and sexy biplane. You must have at least one biplane in your hangar because you will see the biplanes fly totally different than the low wing planes. Really, I love them, eh? I love biplanes. Eh? So this is it. Eh? We love you all, of course. Uh, and that's it. Eh? Yeah, what enjoy to say. Yeah, no. that, that, that's it my friends that's it. we love you all expect more pretty soon don't forget to click on something go out enjoy your life you never know what will happen tomorrow so you must have fun today and it doesn't matter in what, as long as you're having fun but the best fun for us of course is the family friends and flying RC planes 
and of course the good barbecue. Yes, yes, yes. That's enough, eh? You are exaggerating now. Because this is enough for today. Four fido in one day. This is beautiful, eh? Beautiful. And I hope that we, are, I hope that we will be productive like this. Maybe we will try to do this at least every second Sunday. Yeah. And then I can post two videos in a week. And that would be something pretty good, eh? Yes. But because. Because the YouTube, yeah, Captain Bosch, I must say this, you're rolling your eyes, but I must say this. Because you just cannot stop, yeah, eh? Yeah, I can't stop because once I start. We have one but, video to do. But, but hey, hey, I will tell you this, eh? The YouTube and this RC plane community just isn't the same if there is not the videos from Patricius Brothers. And that's the fact, eh? You can say whatever you want, but uh, deep down inside, you know that you miss us if we don't post nothing and if you don't film. Because even we miss filming so much on flying RC planes, that this is unbelievable. But we are still here, don't worry, and we will film for a few years more, I hope. Yes, yes, like yes. This. Friends, the final salute, like the Air Force, that's it, the Royal Air Force. We love you, thanks. Eh?